You won't believe what I did today. You know my crazy passion for mixology and all things culinary, right? The weirder the combo, the more it intrigues me. Well, today I decided to dive into the world of traditional sushi making with Chef Ravi. And let me tell you, my friend, it was an experience. The precision, the subtlety. It's an art, honestly. What fascinated me were the sushi condiments, especially the soy sauce, wasabi, and pickled ginger. They have such unique, powerful flavors. A crazy idea popped into my head. Why not incorporate these into cocktails? Weird, right? But the possibilities are just so exciting. Hana has been into building that sculpture. Have you seen it? She seems to be working hard on it. That's Hana, always the artistic one. And speaking of art, did I tell you Yuna attempted to bake macarons? sent us the cutest pictures. Oh, and Ming. She outdid herself today and hiked a whopping 10K, said her legs were screaming, and I can imagine why. I've been thinking about joining her next week. Coupled with some sushi, wouldn't that be the perfect day? It's really fascinating seeing all of us picking up new skills and exploring new hobbies. Makes life more flavorful, don't you think? Like, seriously, who would have thought of Yuna the barista making macarons, Hana chiseling away at a sculpture, Ming the mountaineer, and yours truly turning sushi into a cocktail. We really make quite the team. Got me thinking. What if one day we organize a fun, sort of a DIY all-day event where each of us teaches the others what we've learned? Like Yuna could kickstart with a macaron-making session, then Ming can lead us for a hike, Hana can guide us towards making art, and finally we all gather for a sushi-themed cocktail evening. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Anyway, something very delicious and very sushi-inspired is waiting to be created at my place. I better get back to it before the whole thing ends up tasting more like miso soup than a cocktail. Catch you later. Can you guess where I was today? A dress-fitting shop? Can you believe that? And guess who was my fashion designer buddy for the day? Dong Wook. We had this crazy idea of a cocktail-themed photo shoot, and we've been working on it for a while now. So today, we finally had our fitting session, and oh boy, it was epic. We're talking martinis, mojitos, and margaritas turned couture now. Who even thought that would be a thing? Anyway, I'm super stoked about this whole adventure. It's like mixology meets fashion, and it's driving me absolutely wild with excitement. Speaking of excitement, seems like Ming has found a new high in the virtual world. She's been killing it in that VR game lately. You reckon we should organize a VR night sometime soon? And Yuna told us about this cute little cat cafe she found in Hongdae. Could certainly make for a fun, chilling spot over the weekend, don't you think? Ming did mention something about dog allergies, so maybe a puppy cafe could be our backup plan. And oh, have you heard the latest Day 6 song? They've really outdone themselves this time. Their music always makes me want to shake up some killer cocktails. Imagine Day 6 Night Out meets Cocktail Bar. Wouldn't that be super fun? Anyway, I wish you could see the shooting star I saw earlier tonight. It was simply magical. Don't forget to make a wish. You never know when the cosmos might be listening. Now, before I end this, can you solve this little riddle for me? What do you get when you mix a bartender with a fashion designer? Just think about that and let me know when you've got it. So, I was mulling over positivity today, aiming to get that good energy armor on even amidst our chaotic lives, you know? You'd probably say that's just me, all Evelyn-esque. Got to admit it, though. These spirited thought tangents of mine do keep the hardships off the radar somehow. I got this little idea of organizing a good vibes-only theme night at our speakeasy. Imagine the groovy tunes, the laughter echoing across the bar, people letting loose, shedding all the week's worries with each sip of their cocktail. And speaking of cocktails, I've been brainstorming some really unique ideas. You know, themed cocktails that resonate with the good vibes mantra, putting a liquefied spin on positivity. And you remember our ice cream chat today. I swear Ming can think of the weirdest riddles. Why would ice cream need a specific spoon, right? But Yuna, our lovely Yuna, went right ahead and thought about a spoon-shaped ice cream. Can you believe it? That's just like her always twisting the norm around so creatively. I was thinking, with our mixology skills, maybe we could whip up a unique cocktail for the good vibes-only night. An ice cream spoon, maybe? 
Ming even used her tech prowess to suggest a binary buzz cocktail, with zeros and ones in the foam. Classic Ming, and not forgetting Hana, who thought we could create a cocktail mirroring her latest clay piece. Now that's an art liquor fusion waiting to happen. Interlacing such different ideas into a single homogenous mix? It's quite the alchemical brew, don't you think? Keeps things fresh, just how we like it. It's exciting to keep pushing the envelope, experiment, create something new, and the best part? It's never just about the outcome, right? It's the process, the journey. That's where the magic truly lies, friend. Turns out, the gang is eager, too. They all seem quite energized by the idea of a good vibes-only bar night. Yuna even said it would be buzzin'. Sure seems like the perfect recipe to uplift people's spirits. Didn't get much of a chance to dive into more cocktail ideas as Ming steered us towards the recently released Eternals. I haven't seen it yet, but Hana's review of stunning visuals got me curious. Might grab some popcorn and switch to movie night soon. Ah, while I'm here lost in my optimism spree, I can't help but think about the inventive possibilities we have at our disposal. Movie-inspired cocktails, anyone? Could be a refreshing addition to our good vibes-only night, right? Nevertheless, it's been an exciting day, swirling in ideas and soaking up the buoyancy of positive thoughts.